Hello, and welcome back to the Farmcast. We're here in Scottsbluff, Nebraska at the Legacy of the Plains Museum. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the increasing importance of the Op Center. Mike, what is the thing that we're looking forward to the most as far as the increasing importance of the Op Center? Yeah, certainly, you know, the, the Operations Center has been around for a while, and we've even heard from some customers that I was visiting here this week about how far along the operation center has come and it certain, certainly has from where it began to where it is today a lot of customers are seeing a lot of good use of the operation center we do still have some customers we're trying to get into the operation center which is kind of the the uh, premise of this conversation but the other thing what i really want to highlight as part of this conversation is that more and more data is going to be coming into the operation center anything from today we have the machine information we have field information, the agronomy information in there. But going forward, John Deere is going to leverage the operations center as a platform to really look at customers and how they interface with the dealer. And also that's going to be the primary place for all of their customer information. Yeah, um, so I, I can see us moving to a place where the op center has scouting, you know, you know, everything as far as uh, field management, but even just uh, your prescription maps and all that type of stuff. But the soil sampling, mm -hmm. uh, get, when we get soil sampling into the op center, that stuff, we get to have connections for that. And that's just all going to start free flowing a lot easier as we build those connections with those third party companies. And you'll just see that increase. The op center is going to be a real basis for where all of your stuff can come together and you can easily access it. Yeah. Right now, a lot of guys might be using a lot of apps and that's what the op center is trying to avoid is yep. trying to limit and, your app usage. And it's, it's going to be the way that uh, we as 21st century can support our customers. Um, so very important that, that we get all of our customers engaged in the operations center, you know, whether they have two pieces of equipment, one piece of equipment or a or hundred, you yep. know, um, it's going to be the way of the future, how we, how we support them and make sure we can uh, be proactive with our support as well and, and keep them rolling um, ongoing. So you said that we're trying to increase it to everybody. It's gonna, there's gonna be entry points, there's gonna be higher echelon levels and those type of things. Where is our focus at currently and where do you think our dealership is at in that, in that level? Yeah, so I think uh, to me there's kind of really kind of three tiers to it of your agronomic information, your machine information, and then uh, really land information. Depend upon the customer base, uh, each customer is in a different uh, phase of that journey based on those, those three tiers of information that's in the operation center. But we need to continue to promote that and, and, and make sure we have some customers that you know, do really well at all three of those. Mm -hmm. Some were just getting engaged in the operation center and that's okay. Uh, you know, it's, it's a journey and uh, customers need to uh, be comfortable with where they're at and it, it's not something that's just gonna happen in one growing season. It's something that uh, is gonna take some time. And you know, my encouragement uh, as I've talked to customers in, in our area of responsibility is just find that one piece of, of value that they're looking for. Um, you know, what is what is that one thing that you struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis that, you know, we can find uh, information from the operation center to help out? Is that logistics? Is that more on the agronomic side and understanding how yield is impacted by maybe some prescriptions or, or different pieces that, that went into the field? Or is it uh, more even on the people management side? You know, I've heard customers say that as well. They're mm -hmm. utilizing it to know <clears throat> productivity and understanding that how we how they make their uh, operation more efficient because they're they're very productive. So a reoccurring theme here on the Farmcast has been that the op center is a toolbox, and those some of these tools do the same job. Some of them are different sizes, some do better than others. We train you how to use all the tools. We're not gonna tell you when to always use them. We are trying to get you guys to get into a point where you can utilize those tools to the best of your ability as is. So finding out where you're at in that journey and then utilizing those tools the best is is our goal. Um, it's not to force everybody in the same box, it's to do the same, to do everything as efficiently as possible for your operations. Yeah, and maybe on the efficiency side, you know, something I always like to make sure our customers are aware of is that the operation center is available on the web, uh, and uh, but we also have a mobile app. Both the, the mobile app has come a long ways just really in the last year or two uh, as well, and now mirrors the, the web 
uh, portion of, of the operation center very closely. Yeah. Almost uh, all functionality is. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. can do it all from your phone, you know, in the middle of the field or wherever you're at. Go to the app store um, and, and look for the, the mobile app. Definitely, you know, look for the mobile app versus using even the operation center through your web browser on your phone because that, that does make yep. a difference as well. And there's some limited functionality um, for our customers. Absolutely. if they go through the web browser on the phone versus using the app so yeah the, the app is just much smoother yeah um, just little things like that like having to clear stuff and that the, it's one button there versus three clicks on the web page so yeah that kind of stuff yep. yeah. very very important to uh to note that as well so with our increasing importance um where do you foresee us as a dealership getting for our customers here in the next three years what like what do you want us to focus on where do you want the customers to focus on because that's specifically why we're here certainly with every interaction we have with any of our customers uh you know we should we should be looking at what do we see in the operation center that supports that decision or um you know enhances that conversation with 21st century and so whether it's us talking from a, a precision ag perspective mm -hmm. or on the sales side parts service everywhere can utilize the operation center and and we're we're focused on that uh, internally at 21st Century uh, and also want to make sure we bring customers along for that journey. Absolutely, because even on the dealership side, a lot of our tools are now getting condensed into the operations center. We're, sure. lo we're losing a few apps, but for the bright side, because the op center is smoother than those things are. So yeah, yeah we're, the whole ordeal is moving towards a more collective one-stop shop type thing. So yeah. it, it's gonna be more efficient for everybody. So Scott, do you have any, um, like specific stories or success stories you've you've seen or heard from yeah. our customer base, or I mean, maybe it doesn't have to necessarily be one of our customers, but a success story from the operation center. Oh, so my experience is only from customers. So the uh, one guy that I have out um, east of here, he had he had nothing set up. He was moving from you know brown boxes to 2630s and that's pretty game changing for him and he was able to get all that he got all of his land set up and then he exported the setup files and that was a pretty big game changer for him he had never had to do all all of that thing all at once and he just it, it streamlined his operation as far as that on the flip side someone much more advanced we did some uh stuff with 4640s and they were doing soil sampling and so they wanted to make sure they were laying a flag every time they took a soil sample so the next year they could go back and test that same spot and that's just in a in a shell that's not even full capability but that is where the option can take you is from that level to that level to you are deeply intimate with your own land and field so mm -hmm. that you can get the best out of it you possibly can because every single time you can save a dollar here you can save a dollar there so that was oh, eye-opening for me but also uh, for those customers they were able to see the difference yeah much the same i you know i I've think of two customers one of which is just starting in the operation center and really looking at logistics and and the, the people management like i mentioned before but that particular customer is is diving headfirst into the operation center and and finding a lot of value immediately just by connecting a few machines mm -hmm. and uh, really that's that's great to see and also just you know the best thing is that they're seeing that value from day one um, just by taking one one small one step, step. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and you don't, you don't um, need to add any more value like you want to add more value after you do it right but right. that one initial step is so vital and Absolutely. once and it's it's addicting is what it is yep. after you do it right yep. so yep and, and then you know all the way to the extreme of a customer that's been utilizing uh op center and boundaries for 15 years uh he told me and mm -hmm. that particular customer is they're doing prescriptions on their phone in their mobile app you know up to the minute that they're doing planting uh and you know it's nice that they have the capabilities to change those and adjust those as yep. needed and so that's you know you, you get the extremes and, and anything in the middle mm -hmm. um for from those stories yeah it's just it's it's crazy to see how well you can do um and how quickly it happens right it's it's mm -hmm. so fast you don't really even have to worry about it being there if you're doing it here it's it's a game changer so i guess final point here would be that the accessibility of the option we're not trying to shut anybody out third party stuff works with it it's a you can create an account it is free free of charge you get all this stuff you don't have to have a john deere tractor to even make it work and if you do want to track your machine data we can make those things happen um very accessible that way it's a very low bar of entry and that's why it's we're pushing it so hard is because it it elevates your operation and that's why we're trying to get you there yeah and if you if you have a 
a app center account and you don't know how to log in, you know, we can help you Absolutely. get there or, you know, go, go create one. Uh, and, uh, or we'll help you create one here at 21st century, uh, to get you engaged. And with the, the mobile app too, being able to use like, uh, biometric logins and, mm -hmm. and things like that makes it a lot easier. You don't have to remember your, your login and password all the, all the conveniences time. of your phone. Right? Yeah. Yep. 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 Correct. Maybe in the other piece to note of that is that especially for larger organizations you know the operation center allows you to manage your roles of those individuals who are part of that organization yep and you decide what they have access to maybe they only see equipment and not some of the agronomic data correct or you know they maybe they have full access it's completely up to you as as the organization and, and how you want to set that up right with tools like work planner data sync yeah you can you can create the perfect organization for the main decision maker he can decide exactly what's going to happen and how his how his workers are going to utilize the system so right. it's it's set up well for that so thank you guys again for joining us on this talk about the rising importance of the op center for me and mike this is the farmcast signing off <laughs>